Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. This is Yong from Astro Audio Hive. Okay, today we will be going through uh, M uh no uh 3.5 detachable mat for the Grado S R A D E, but these steps are applicable to all Grado with the plastic shell or a little. I mean the anything that's plastic, black plastic. Uh, these steps are applicable. We will need parts. So a pair of the 3.5mm female jack For tools, just a soldering tool uh, And uh, glue and, and this what's this called uh, um, Heat gun We will be using heat gun for this Okay, so we will start by this as a playing the headphone Okay, remove the, the rubber ends From the gimbal we just pull it out and uh, we'll leave the hip band aside. Okay, don't lose this. Okay, since this is a detachable mod, we will be cutting the wires. Uh, we get about one and a half inch on both sides, then we just cut it. So the cable is now out of the way. I will only be showing one side of the mod. Uh, you pass off. Okay, so we have uh, just... No, not yet. Gimbal off. How to take off the gimbal? Okay, basically this is plastic. So we will pry it, pry it outwards like that. These are very sharp, uh, so be very careful. So, the initial disassembly from the headband, uh, I mean to remove the driver assembly, uh, is very simple. The next step is to remove the driver. The driver is housed in a uh, separate housing, so we have a back and a front housing. So we want to pull it apart, but uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, we are going to need help from a heat gun so uh, always when working near drivers we are going to use low heat so we have a heat gun set to low I will speed through this but I will show you the the way we do it uh, it takes about 5 minutes 10 minutes uh, to dissolve not, not dissolve lah, to to melt the glue and uh sorry uh, uh and we should be able to slowly uh open up the driver it is going to be quite hot so if you have glove please use a glove so uh just proceed i'll just show one side and you can see So we have some heat uh, applied already. Slowly try to see if it's uh, loose enough. You should be able to feel it uh, separating if the heat is sufficient. So right now I'm uh, not really feeling anything. But that's the way we, uh, we do the heat gun. So I'll just skip to when it's all done. You can uh, apply leverage using a lever. Okay, so we are in. You can see uh, we have glue all around. There's actually so much glue. Okay, you can see the inside. It's all lined with glue. We don't need a lot of this, so we are uh, those that stretch out. We are going to remove let this stretch out once. Okay, 
so here we see the drivers on, on the inside the mod is basically uh, enlarging the hole here to put uh, the connector in we'll be doing a mono um, what's that called a mono configuration so uh, we'll be wiring it in mono this is a stereo plug if you can get a mono plug then you just uh, solder it uh, as a mono so for a stereo plug we are going to uh, need to have to short the ring and the sleeve together okay blue color wire on the grados is the negative so red and white the other side is white it is going to be the positive We are not uh, soldering the connector yet. Okay, so we will bend the. This is the the sleeve. This is the ring. So the tip is on the left side. We will bend this and short them together here. Use a solder to short them together. You can hook it up and do the the mod, but uh, right now we are doing the sizing. Okay, we want to leave at least this much gap. So uh, let's mark out what is uh what needs to be removed. So uh, let's get a sharp tool. Uh, scissors will do, or just a uh, metal. So we are drilling until this line and for the width we will constantly enlarge it and uh, slowly fit it in because uh, for grado plastic series we need to do both this side and this side we need to enlarge both sides although the more important part is uh, on the back plate Okay, so I forget to say we need a Dremel, which is the most important tool right uh, right here. Okay, so we get a Dremel. Then we'll start to okay, be very careful not to to drill onto the plastic. I mean the, the the outside of the back plate. You don't want any damage to that. This is ABS, uh, so it's very easy to to dram out. So be very careful. So we don't want to go too fast and remove uh, too much material. In that case, uh, it will be harder for the connector to hold. Okay, so once we get to here, we want to push it even uh, further down because uh, this thing can be flushed to the bottom. As you can see, there's still about uh, three, four millimeter of space. We'll keep drilling down. There's uh, still some more space, so let's go down again. Okay, this is uh, as far as we can go, and uh, this is what we want also. So right now, we are going to have to draw out the this part. And we are going to figure out how much it's actually not much we just need to enlarge this uh the width of this 
just uh, enlarge, widen the width. Okay, to take a look at the driver here. They are exposed holes. So when you drill, do not let the debris enter the driver. So I'm just trying to enlarge the left and right. Okay, just uh, if you are if you are scared or not familiar, just put some uh, tape around the insides. Don't let any of the debris uh, enter the the driver. Okay, so now we can finally solder the the wires. Okay, so remember. Uh, on the left side is the positive and the red is the positive blue is always the negative for grados okay so we will fit this in okay this is the part we start to apply glue we want to apply a drop on the plastic and on top because this one will be pressed down by the outside casing by the driver casing so we just check the length and everything okay. so seems about right we will apply the glue you can apply the glue afterwards too yeah. just drip one drop here okay make sure it doesn't flow out and we can try to push this back in okay keep checking this this part we want it to be uh flushed we'll let the glue set and uh, the mod is done. Okay, so I just need to do, do the other side of the mod. Okay, when installing the gimbal bag, uh, make sure the mat surface, not the one with the holes, the mat one is facing the outside because uh, there is an end goal to it. So to install, same thing, we just stretch it over and fit it. So the the process is basically a reverse of the installation. So that's all. I'll post a photo right at the back. Thanks for watching.